Man, the ops been telling us for a while now that the sub boxes ain't broke. I don't believe the ops, so make sure you turn on notifications when you subscribe to my channel. What's going on, guys? Y'all know why I'm here, man. I'm just here to talk about facts right now, man. Listen, NBA Live 17 is no more. It's dead. It's not coming out, not last year and not this year, bruh. They have literally pushed the game back an entire year and a half to fall 2018, bro. Everybody knew around summertime that NBA Live might have been coming out. Then they announced, no, you know what? NBA Live 17 is going to get pushed back to early 2017 release. And probably a week and a half ago, they say, you know what? Let's erase all that. We start fresh with NBA Live 18 in the fall. Bruh, I need to know what's going on over at EA Sports in Orlando, bruh, when it comes to NBA Live franchise. FIFA, juggernaut, crazy. You cannot go into a household without hearing about that game. I can't even go to work and not hear about FIFA, bruh. Madden. You can't go to your job and hear about fantasy football and not hear about Madden. Madden is another household name. Now, we all know that Madden doesn't have any more competition. Nobody else is making a football game. But they're still making their game. They're still coming out every year, whether it's not as much DLC or not as much modes or not as much storyline, created player, all that. Everybody that plays NBA 2K thinks too much about creations and storylines and everything like that but they don't know that they still got the core thing in the game which is gameplay teams players and a mode that transcends that which is mutt so to me when i look at nba live and i say you know what they took a year off all right they trying to come out every year they trying to as long as they stay on a steady pace they even drop the whole you know uh, NBA Live Ultimate Team joint, which was dope. Then they said, now nah, we're going to take a back seat and do the mobile game. The mobile game is an effing success. A very good game, bro. The mobile game will have your battery dead because you will be on that darn mobile game all day long. I've been a victim of it, truly. But when it comes to the console franchise, I don't know where they are right now, bro. I'm a game changer for UFC. You guys like EA Sports UFC 1 and 2, right? If you're not in your head, yes, then don't you think they should get somebody like me to help out with development or even get a person like me to reach out to other people that know the dynamics of basketball and, you know, help out with bugs and tweaks and everything like that. I, I feel like they need your boy. You know what I'm saying? I've talked to a community manager for EA Sports NBA Live, and you know, I've gotten that answer saying, you know, when we get back to the drawing board, when things start picking up, we'll let you know. They haven't hit me up yet, and now I know why. NBA Live has been pushed back, canceled, renamed, repackaged, and will be handed to us as NBA Live 18 in the fall. Now, let's check out this article right here, man. This article is by my boy, my boy Franchise Play Sports, one of the, the best people that I know, dog. He always writing articles, always on his job. A1 guy, bro. So, right here, they say that, he says that NBA Live 18 is still going to be released this year. But he says later than originally thought. Now, I think it might have been a typo when he said NBA Live 18 is supposed to be 17. But they pushed it back and renamed it. So, he then revised and said NBA Live 17 will be scrapped. You know what I'm saying? It was supposed to be a release in the fall. Then early 2017. But the CEO said, now nah, you know what? We're going to push it back. Rename it. Repackage it. And push it out to you guys late 2017. Now, this is the thing. As a EA Sports fan, NBA Live franchise fan out there, I know people are probably pissed off because delays are a bad look. He even put out videos inside this whole entire article. The article will be in the description. Delays always look bad, no matter what it is, bro. You wouldn't go out and buy anything that has been delayed or pushed back or anything like that. 
You feel me? When like when movies come out and they say they announce their release date, right? And then they push them back. Do you still want to go see that movie? Is the anticipation still that hype? You know what I'm saying? Do you still feel it? When sneaker releases are about to happen, then they say, oh, hold up. Hold up. We got we got to push the sneaker release back. Do you still want those sneakers? Is the, is the hype still there? Do you think the stitching going to be A1? I don't know. When phone releases happen and they say, no, you know what? We're going to push these phone releases back. Do you still want that bomb? Okay, cool. So, you know, moving on. He said, um, to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with somebody like 2K, you have to have all your ducks in a row. You have to come with that hot fire, bro. I remember when NBA Live came out with the face scan app. They was the first to do it, bro, on mobile, face scan app. We was so lit. The whole community was like, yo, you know what? We might have two basketball games this year. I might have to might have to play in both this, this type of level or at least like this. They came out with NBA Live, bro. And all you see was 2K start soaring again, bro. Because player builds, player face scans, all that stuff was all messed up, man. They didn't have the equipment or the time or the ability to scan everybody the right way, get the right scanning, travel to teams, teams travel to them. It just, it wasn't a good look. And that's what really killed the game. I feel like the Pro-Am little demo joint that they had was lit. It wasn't that many movesets, but it was a start. But then... They came up with them player builds and stuff, and they shot themselves in the foot. Now, moving on, they say there's still hope for people, right? So, you know, additional development will give NBA Live 18 time to become something truly special. Maybe the game will be re-innovated completely with a fully fleshed out feature set the elimination. Look, let me, let me say something real quick, bro. You don't know what bugs are going to be in a game until people start trying to break the game. You need the top 10 hackers, exploiters, just people that know how to break a game. Same thing with 2K, even though we're not even talking about them right now. Same thing with them. If you want to make your game bug free and better, you got to invite people out there that's willing to break the game. If people ain't willing to break the game, like people like me. I'm a nine to five guy. I come home, I turn on 2K, I play the game and expect the game to give me what I give it. I don't go in and try to break the code and make somebody something he ain't on the creation and all that. If people don't try to break the game, you're gonna think your game is bug free. People have to try to break it. That's what you need, you need those people. I could call up five people right now, hey yo, you, you got that glitch for me? Bet. They the people you need in house. They the people you need trying to break your game, dog. Now, this is the end of the article, article and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? He just wanted to, you know, put out a couple different things that he does and everything like that. But all in all, man, if you go up against NBA 2K and you delay your game, you cancel your game, you repackage your game, you rename your game, people aren't going to buy it. The last NBA Live on console did terrible numbers. These is all facts. I'm not trying to make fun of the game, nothing like that. I would love to step in that building at EA and say, hey, yo, y'all need help? I'm here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Who, who y'all need? Who, I, I can get a roster right now. Who y'all need? You know what I'm saying? We can get in digging with the developers and make the game a better game. You know what I'm saying? Even 2K, bro. 2K don't hit people up saying, yo, we need... Uh, crash test course and all that you know what i'm saying trying to get the bugs out of the game they don't do that either not many games do it but for the games that do their games always end out to be better always bro always listen get your boy on the roster put your comment in the comment section dog is nba live 18 gonna be a l or a w dog what y'all what what y'all think man l or w man l or w man spam it up in the chat man this is your boy ikc signing out peace hey thank you for watching this video if you're new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button also please turn on notifications so you'll be notified when i upload a new video also if you want to check out some of my previous videos i do have two videos that you can choose from on screen right now so go ahead and click one of those and check it out also if you do like my park and pro-am gameplays and streams you can follow me on twitch the link is inside the description